Louise Browning Miller designed this sequence to develop strength, flexibility, and balance, leading you to the ultimate repose in Anantasana, reclining pose dedicated to Vishnu. Have two blankets, a strap, and a block nearby as you practice. To begin, sit cross-legged on two folded blankets. Find a sense of balance, leaning neither forward nor back, and root your sitting bones as you observe your breath. Begin to breathe into the navel region, the seat of power and creativity in the body. Invite the breath up through the full length of your spine to open your body to this sense of strength and receptivity. Release your legs and come to sitting in Dandasana, staff pose, to move into Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Bend your right knee on top of your left, then bend your left knee and take both feet outside your hips. Feel free to sit up on your blankets if you find it difficult to stack your knees. Ground down through your seat and balance your torso forward and back, right and left. Take your strap in your left hand, lift your left arm up, bend your elbow, and place your hand between your shoulders. Lower your right arm behind you as you bend your elbow and reach up to hold the strap, or clasp your hands if you have the flexibility. Begin to integrate the sensations of grounding through your seat and opening your breath into your belly and chest as you feel a stretch in your left armpit. Slowly release your hold and the strap and let your arms rest by your feet. Then lengthen your legs forward to Dandasana. Come to the second side. Bend your left knee over your right and then bend your right knee, taking both feet outside your hips. Root your sitting bones firmly into the floor. Take the strap with your right hand. Reach your right arm up your left arm down and hold the strap or clasp your hands behind. Be fully present as you observe the sensation in your legs, hips, belly, shoulders, and breath. Release your hands slowly and rest them by your feet. Extend your legs to Dandasana, taking a slow, steady breath. Then come to all fours to prepare for dolphin pose. Place your elbows, forearms, and palms on the floor, shoulder width apart and parallel to each other. With an exhalation, lift your knees as you reach your hips up toward the ceiling. Move your chest and armpits back toward the thighs. Maintain shoulder distance in your hands, forearms, and elbows. Balance your effort to extend and open the length of your torso with a sense of stability through your legs. Bend your knees and release into Balasana, child's pose, to rest. Allow your breath to soften your forehead, eyes, tongue, and throat. Slowly lift your torso and come to standing in Tadasana, mountain pose, for Utita Hasta Padangustasana, extended hand to big toe pose. Bend your right knee toward your chest, take a strap around your right foot, or hold your right big toe with your right index and middle fingers. Take your left hand to your left hip and slowly straighten your right leg. Extend through the heel and ball of the right foot as you shift your right hip back. Ground through your left leg and balance as you move your right leg out to the side. Root down through your left heel. Draw your inner left thigh back and drop your right sitting bone as you breathe into your inner right thigh. On an inhalation, bring your right leg back in front. Take a breath with your leg at center and then release your leg. Breathe here in mountain pose. Find your balance in center. Bend your left knee toward your chest. 
Hold your left big toe with the strap or your index and middle fingers and straighten your left leg. Take your right hand to your right hip and extend through your left leg as you shift your left hip back. Root down through your right leg and balance as you move your left leg out to the side. Breathe into your inner left thigh. Ground through your right heel. Shift your inner right thigh back and release your left sitting bone down. Use an inhalation to bring your left leg back to center. Take a breath. Then slowly release your left leg and find your balance and stability in mountain pose. Step your feet three and a half to four feet apart and extend your arms open to a T position for Uttita Trikonasana, extended triangle pose. Shift your right foot out, your left foot in slightly, and use an exhalation to extend your right side over your right leg, taking your hand to a block to the outside of your right shin. Open through your torso as you lift your left arm up. Externally rotate your right thigh Engage your right buttocks and open the front of your pelvis. Root down through your legs and use an inhalation to come back up to center. Pivot on your feet for the second side. Shift your left foot out, your right foot in slightly. On an exhalation, lengthen your left side as you extend over your left leg. Place the block to the outside of your left shin. Open the front of your torso and lift your right arm up. Externally rotate your left thigh, engage your left buttocks and open the front of your pelvis. Breathe into your navel and the opening in your torso as you ground down through your legs. On an inhalation, come up to center, arms in a T position. You'll come back to triangle on the right side to prepare for Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Pivot on your feet to the right and on an exhalation, take triangle. Take your left hand to your left hip, bend your right knee and reach your right hand forward eight to 12 inches. Slide your left foot forward in line with your right heel, press down through your right foot and lift your left leg. Reach up through your left arm, extending through all four limbs. Externally rotate your right thigh as you press down through the big toe mound. Find stability in your standing leg. Energetically lift from your inner right thigh. Open your left hip point up and away from the right and engage the right buttocks. Keep your left foot in line with your left hip. Slowly use an exhalation to bend your right knee and step back to Trikonasana. Use an inhalation to come up to standing. Pivot your heels to the left. On an exhalation, extend to triangle on the left and place your block on the outside of your left shin. Rest your right hand on your right hip, bend your left knee and reach your left hand forward. Slide your right foot forward, press down through your left foot and lift your right leg to half moon pose. Reach your right arm up, opening your belly, torso, shoulders, and breath. Externally rotate your left thigh and root down through your standing leg. Lift from your inner left thigh and open your right hip point away from the left as you engage the left buttocks. Keep your right leg in line with your torso and shoulders. On an exhalation, bend your left knee, step your right leg back, and slowly transition back to triangle. Inhale, come up to standing. Step your feet together to mountain pose and find your stability and balance. Come down onto all fours to prepare for Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog pose. Take your hands one hand's distance in front of your shoulders. Press down with your inner palms, externally rotate your upper arms, and on an exhalation, lift your pelvis. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back and reach your chest toward your legs. Feel the stretch in your armpits. Actively stretch back through your outer hips and inner thighs. 
Observe your breath in your diaphragm, navel, and chest. Feel your mind quieting. Bend your knees and release. Come to a seated position and lie on your back, legs extended, to prepare for Supta Padangustasana, reclining hand to big toe pose. Bend your right knee toward your chest and take the strap around your right foot or hold your big toe with your index and middle finger. Slowly straighten your right leg. Reach out through your right heel and the ball of your right foot and place your left hand on your left thigh. Create a stable base by rooting down through your left leg. On an exhalation, slowly extend your right leg to the side. Keep your left hip and inner thigh firmly grounded to the floor and breathe into your inner right thigh. Encourage a sense of expansiveness in your belly and torso. On an inhalation, lift your right leg back to center and release your right foot. Extend your right leg forward. Breathe into the stable base of this lying down position. Bend your left knee and wrap the strap around your left foot or hold your big toe. Slowly straighten your left leg. Extend through your left heel and the ball of your foot. Take your right palm to your right thigh and maintain stability by rooting down through your right leg. On an exhalation, open your left leg out to the side. Keep your right hip and inner thigh grounded and breathe into your inner left thigh. Maintain your stability through the right leg and encourage expansiveness through your torso and left side. On an inhalation, lift your left leg back to center. Release your left leg and lie down in this balanced position. Soften your eyes, ears, and tongue. Bend your knees into your chest and roll over onto your right side. Press yourself up to seated and open your legs wide apart for Parvrita Upavishta Konasana, revolved wide angle seated forward bend. Root down through your sitting bones and lift up through your spine. Turn your right palm up, stretch your right arm along your right leg and bring the four fingers of your right hand to the ball of your right foot. If you have difficulty reaching, use a strap around your foot instead. Reach out through your left leg and root down through your left sitting bone. Bend your right elbow toward your inner right calf. Rotate your torso and open your chest toward the ceiling. Lengthen the right side of your torso and your right ribs toward your right foot. On an inhalation, stretch your left arm overhead and if you can, Hold the outside of your right foot with your left hand. Continue to ground down through your left sitting bone and thigh. On an inhalation, lift the left arm and bring your torso and arms back up to center. Ground down through your seat. Turn your left palm up and stretch your left side body to hold the ball of your left foot with your left hand or the strap. Root down through your right sitting bone. Bend your left elbow toward your inner left calf and start to open your chest. Lengthen your left side body toward your left foot. On an inhalation, reach your right arm up and over, holding the outside of your left foot if you can. Use your breath to create expansiveness in your belly and chest as you reach out through your right leg and create a stable base. On an inhalation, Lift your right arm up and come back up to center. Bring your legs together and then take both legs to the right and lie down on your left side for Anantasana, reclining pose dedicated to Vishnu. Take your right hand to the floor for support and extend your left arm in line with your left ear. Stretch your left armpit toward the floor Reach your palm away from your feet and rest your head on your left hand. Feel the entire length of your left side connecting with the floor. You may just want to stay here, encouraging softness in your belly as you continue to find balance on your side. 
You can also lengthen your right arm along your right side. If you have the flexibility, bend your right knee, hold your right big toe with your index and middle fingers, and stretch your right arm and leg up toward the ceiling. Draw your right buttocks toward the front of your body and stay grounded through your entire left side. Allow your breath to open as you integrate stability through your left side with a sense of openness and expansiveness. Use an exhalation to release your right leg on top of your left. Press yourself up to seated and come to lying down on your right side. Take your left hand to the floor for support, extend your right arm in line with your left ear, and prop your head up on your right palm. Connect to your base through the entire length of your right side. Breathe into your belly and soften as you maintain balance. Feel free to take your left arm along your left side. If you have the flexibility, bend your left knee, hold your left big toe with your index and middle fingers, and stretch your left arm and leg up toward the ceiling. Draw your left buttocks toward the front of your body and extend through your entire right side. Whether your left leg is extended up or alongside your right leg, Feel open, expansive, and balanced in stability. On an exhalation, release your left leg and continue to enjoy the repose. Release your right arm and lie on your back for Shavasana, corpse pose. Take a moment to align your body symmetrically on your mat. Breathe deeply and completely let go. Relax your entire body into the floor. Quiet your eyes, ears, and tongue. Release into this balance of stability and openness. <laughs> 